Martha's just back from a 10 day trip to Iraq where she's been able to see with her own eyes how different th different things are in the country as it approaches the verge of political collapse. Political arguments at home aside, how different do things seem to you now than when you've been there as recently as January? I, I was there in January and I was going because they'd, uh, the, the militants had taken over Fallujah. But the last time I was there, with the American troops was when the American troops left. Right. Mm -hmm. And the most stunning thing is to go back there with no mm -hmm. real American troops on the ground, mm -hmm. no combat troops on the ground, no, I, I, I mean, in a way, no help, no looking. At, so it, it, it is incredibly complicated when you yeah. get there. It, yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you feel a real sense of, of danger. Mm -hmm. You go to these checkpoints, you're stopped. You, I mean, in January, we were stopped at a checkpoint for three hours. Mm -hmm. um, you go here, there's, there are militias all over the place, these Shiite militias all over the place. We, we spend a, you know, but life goes on too. It's, it's wonderful and you can go out and you can see these Iraqi families. There was one Iraqi family I spoke to. Mother was Syrian, father was Iraqi. They'd moved to Syria during the worst part of the oh. war in Iraq. And mm. now, of course, they're back because of the terrible war there. And their children talk about explosions and these terrible things. Mm. You go out and, there's, and the militias, again, are all over the streets. Um, you also, and I can't help, you know, going back and I ride down that airport road and, and which was called Rude Irish, and think of all the people who were lost on that road. Mm -hmm. And think of the people who lost their legs. And think of, I mean, there's such specific things for me when I look around Baghdad and I see where-, where Does it feel like deja vu, everything is unraveling again? Can you feel it, that? It, oh yeah, you can, you can definitely feel. I mean, it's, I, I will tell you, it's, it's frightening there. It is frightening because there are things blowing up all over the place. There was a gunfight outside of our hotel. Um, there, there is a real sense of foreboding mm. and a real sense of what can the Americans do. I mean, there's, we're not going to send troops back in large numbers. And you look at what's happening out there. We had 150,000 troops who were trying to stop what's going, the same type of thing that's going on now. We had 150,000 troops there trying to do that. And they're trying to do it with forces who are dropping their weapons and running or the 300 Americans we're sending in. Mm. And, you know, we talk over and over again that the airstrikes would be extremely different, uh, d uh, difficult, and they would be. First of all, you have to have, as you well know, Pete Williams, you have to have an air controller on the ground to figure out that you've got the you right know. target. And you're not, you know, you're not taking sides and you're not, hit, uh, you're trying your best not to hit civilians. So all of that is, is extremely difficult, but, but extremely depre depressing. And you get that sense from the Americans on the ground too, from, from people there that, that it is as bad as it could be.